The next step in the process is going to be to apply samples to our HPTLC plate using the Automatic TLC Sampler 4 or ATS4. This is a fully automated sampler that will allow you to apply your samples, rinse the syringe, it's again fully automated so you basically will program it from the software and set it up and then you're finished. It will do everything else automatically. The basic setup here is there's a tower which has a syringe and the needle. So this is where the, uh, the sample will be drawn up and, and then sprayed. There's a rinsing bottle back here that has methanol in it. And then there's a waste bottle here as well. There's a stage platform. Uh, this plate, the small plate you see here, is a waste plate. So that remains on the instrument. Then there's an area for your HBTLC plate. Um, this will actually accommodate up to 20 by 20 centimeter uh, size plates. But again, we're using a 20 by 10. Then finally, there's a sample rack, which has a, a markings on it as a grid pattern. Um, this is where your sample vials will go, and then you will be able to use this position of the vial will relate back to the software, so you can tell the software exactly where you put each vial. For the vials themselves, these are just standard HPLC type vials, so uh, nothing complicated, just basic vials. And What's going to happen here is the samples are going to be sprayed onto the plate via a gas. Uh, we have nitrogen hooked up to this. You can use very clean air or nitrogen. And it will spray the sample down on the plate in band form, which is the preferred way to apply sample uh, to using HPTLC. This instrument will also allow you to put down your samples as spots or uh, contact transfer. But again, for our purposes, for doing HPTLC, you want to do it as a band, and so that's what we're going to be doing today, the spray-on band. So what we're going to do now is load the plate onto the stage. So here we have our, uh, our clean plate, so blank plate, ready to go. We've already acquired clean plate images of this. We're going to go to our stage, we lift the lever, pull down the front, and load the plate like so. This is a self-adjusting table, so if you use different thicknesses of plates, if you're using plastic back plates or foils, uh, this will automatically adjust based on the thickness and make sure that the, uh, if the plate's always in the same position. Now we're going to load our uh, samples into the sample rack. So we have the first sample we have here is, um, is, the, is the standard. And then we have a um, a reference material for a licorice root. And then finally we have the actual sample for the licorice root. So we'll load those into the rack. Normally this instrument has a cover. I've removed the cover just to make it easier to see what's going on inside, but normally there's a, a, a dark plastic cover that completely encloses this area so when you're running it you can shut the door and uh, there's, no, there's no problems with airflow or anything like that interrupting the sample application process. Uh, you also see a, a, a connection back here. This is actually uh, something we've done in our lab. Uh, it's a, a custom connection that fits on top of the, the, um, the cover that will actually connect to the, the hood. And so if you're using any chemicals that are uh, kind of nasty, it'll, it'll draw up the, the, uh, the fumes from that. But that's, that's something you can actually do. We've had some customers who have done that in the past. So again, it's just a plastic cover so you can cut it or whatever you want to do with it. So, um, but again, I've, I've removed that for, for uh, clarity's sake here. So now what we're going to do, that we've got our samples loaded and we've got our plate loaded, we're going to go to the software and we're going to run the actual sample application. We've already got the ATS-4 set up. Again, here in the software you can see it tells you what you need to do. Um, we've put our plate on, we've put our vials in the rack in the uh, appropriate positions. And if you want to look over here, this is the sequence table, which lists the different tracks. So seven total tracks that we apply, are going to be applying. And each track, what's on that track, and then the volume, and then the position uh, in the rack. So our first track here is a, a standard of uh, glycerizic acid. Then we have three tracks that are going to be our licorice root reference material with volumes of 2, 4, and 6 microliters. 
Then tracks five through seven are, are our licorice root sample. Again, two, four, and six microliters. And again, here you can see the, the listing type of reference or sample. And if you click on one of these positions, you can see it shows an image of the actual rack. So now we're going to go and everything is ready. So we're just going to click on continue here and then the instrument will apply the sample. And you can see as the sample is being applied in the software, it will tell you the progress and it will actually show you where the progress is located on the instrument here, what track it's actually applying at the time. And this updates while the ATS-4 moves along in the sample application process.